Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's happening? Sorry, loud. <laughs> you're happy. Is it because your birthday is coming up? Yeah. And I'm finally out of the hospital. Yay. Uh, there's a whole gastroenteritis thing going around and I got it and it was kind of severe. And I that is such of... a fancy way to say diarrhea, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. I was, I was trying to not talk about the fact <laughs> that I've been leaky for three, four days. But uh, thanks for bringing it you up. You gotta be real. Real, There's, real. <laughs> by the way, a real risk that we have to pause this right in the middle today. I'm very sorry. Because uh, that That's needs okay. to go. Yeah. yeah. But I, I'm feeling okay now. I'm glad. You let us know if you want to take a break. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so wardrobe malfunction and a loose man today. <laughs> We're risking it all with this episode. <laughs> So what are you doing for your buddy? I'm, get, I'm glad I'm getting better because uh, this weekend is my most awaited weekend of this year. Around Jan or Feb, we got to know that both Oppenheimer and Barbie are releasing on the 21st of July. And I've been waiting for this weekend. I haven't ever been excited about my birthday the way I've been this year because I get to ring it in with like two fantastic, like potentially fantastic movies. Uh, one from my favorite filmmaker of all time, who's Christopher Nolan. Some of my favorite films have been made by him. Greta Gerwig is another powerhouse. I don't think she's missed with a single movie yet. So I'm super excited. You haven't shut up about it clearly, but <laughs> over the past week. But I haven't like watched either, not even the trailers. Like I have zero context what I'm getting into, but we'll watch it together, of course. You say um, we'll watch it together. I've been asking us to book tickets for like more about bar weeks. <laughs> the, the tickets have been live for three weeks. My other friends are asking me, I'm telling them, no, I have a plan with these other friends. And those friends aren't booked. Like, can we... Let's book it today. Okay, thanks. Right now. Like we finish recording right and then now. we book. Yeah. I'm not letting you I'm leave. very excited about... Barbie because I have a different relationship growing up like because Barbie was like the thing for yeah. women you know like I mean gender stereotype now but then back then most uh, baby girls were into it hmm. and uh, it was like a collectibles like you know how nerds have like superhero in their boxes thanks, thanks and they don't that. even want to open it yeah thanks crazy. for that boxing so we were crazy like, <laughs> crazy like that with Barbies. Like we would get and stack it up. Hmm. By we, I mean the other girls. Because I never had You didn't one. pull them out of the box and everything? You also kept them in the box? Yeah, some people take it out. Some people have. Like I, I had a friend who would just like stack up Barbie things and she would not open the boxes because it's like meant to be there with the box. Oh. Uh, but some people play with it. Hmm. <clears throat> Anyway, I never got it growing up and yeah. I remember this one birthday, it was my friend's best friend's birthday at the time and my dad and I went shopping and he was like, he saw the Barbie and he's like, ah, let's just get her this and I was like, you never said that to me, I wanted Barbie and uh, I was so mad the whole time, I was like, she got a Barbie, I did not get a Barbie, I got a Barbie, whatever and then one day I got a fake Barbie, there used to be ripples. <laughs> They got me a fake Barbie and uh, I was just, it, it, I think that was when like, I was such a kid and I didn't know what to do with this doll, right? Because mm. it's just a doll. What do you do with it? Like you need the whole Barbie set for it to like make sense, interact with Ken, whatever. Can't do shit just with Barbie. And that was when I was really curious as a kid. So I was like, I want to see what she looked like undressed. And then I'm sitting in the bedroom and I'm shit scared because I shouldn't be doing this. I know I shouldn't be doing this. How dare I undress Barbie without her consent? But I'm <laughs> in, but I'm in the room like undressing her and I'm like, because it's it has nothing. She doesn't have them. <laughs> she doesn't have anything. Did you feel like there was something wrong with you? That you had something? No, I don't did? think my brain was like that formed yet. <laughs> I was just like, whoa. And that's exactly when my mom walked in. She was like, what are you doing? So 
I was really embarrassed because I was like, what the hell? My mom just caught me with this chick in hmm. my bed. <laughs> But then I was banned from having toys for a while. Because they were like, she's, she's a wild child. Movies though, brings me to uh, what I want to discuss today, which is uh, relationships. Portrayed on film, either on television, or in movies the big ones that like most people have watched and what kind of like impact they have on how we view them we've touched upon this before in previous podcasts also uh, very briefly but i want to talk about have you Let's watched talk about it huh have you watched the office yes i have yeah? yeah what do you think about jim and pam i think pam is so dull she is so boring i legit don't know honestly leave jim and pam a, like as a couple aside hmm. just pam look at pam what does she do she is sweet she's a, she's good But at her job there is the personality where is the the rest of them even like creed brings <laughs> <laughs> more to the table bro <laughs> like it's just so dull as an individual and jim i felt like was a very interesting character but once he got into that relationship also he did karen hell a dirty like he just yeah flaked on her yeah moved back and was like bam i thought that was his right fit and i agree with you on the fact that maybe pam didn't have all that personality but my problem with that relationship wasn't related to her personality it had more to do with actually jim because she's doing that thing that happens a lot where a girl keeps you hanging it's very clear you two have vibes but for whatever reason on the planet you know that this guy is into you you know that he'll do anything for you you have a thing for him it's a separate thing if you don't have a thing for him but you're just you're just like avoiding for yeah. years and years and years and this idiot is holding on hope for years and years and years and we're portraying this as this hugely romantic thing it's a very classical concept it's been written about a basically, lot basically what you're saying is jim is a simp yes he was a classic simp cuz pam was dating someone while leading this guy on and then she got together with him yes. and they did long distance yes and uh, pam was obviously later with also karen in the middle whatever but he came back and he's again falling for pam mm. and then towards the end they have a child and they get boring as <laughs> as couples it's just dull overall like their i don't find their relationship journey very exciting yet when they finally got <gasps> together i was super emotional it is emotional and then she <laughs> with the audio guy <laughs> and then i was like you really got to do this we trusted you and you got to do this to us yeah so no it's a the the <laughs> problem i have is that it's the same story in different ways has been shown across like english hindi regional media yeah where the guy just waits and waits and waits and it's romanticized and i think that is a problem the wait is roman- romanticized so much to the point where now people think it's okay to keep bothering someone because eventually they will change their yes. mind yes Yes, is the entire plot of Ranjana. Is the entire plot oh. of literally any movie where you see, like DDLJ. Sorry, DDLJ is DDLJ is DDLJ is I'm going to get hella hate for this. You're an Indian. <laughs> this is a matter of national pride. Did you just say what is DDLJ? Yes. Tell a South Indian that a Hindi movie is national pride. In the nineties, yeah. there was this movie called Dil Wale Dulhaniya Le Jayenge. Have you heard of this? Uh, he's I not can't that... say that. I'm so glad you said DDLJ. There's this guy in India, not that well known. His name is Shah Rukh Khan. Heard of him? Oh, yeah. Who's he's that this dude? like podcaster, oh. you know, semi-famous guy. Uh, his claim to fame. was this movie it was a small movie that came out in the 90s not like it plays in the cinemas 20 years later 
it's considered to be one of the most iconic films that have come out of India ever. All right? Dilwale Dulhaniya Le Jane. In this movie, there is this girl played by an actress, very small, unknown actress called Kajal, mm. uh, who wants to go to Europe. She's a very nice, homely girl who prays in front of the uh, in front of the mandir every day. Her dad loves her. But he's very strict and she convinces him somehow to let her go to Europe. And on her trip to Europe, she meets this boy on a train played by Shah Rukh Khan. His name is Raj. Uh, Why is everyone Raj or Rahul in 90s movies? At movie? that, there, it was, all the Rajas and Rahuls were Shah Rukh Khan only. <laughs> she meets him there and on the train he decides he's going to start like just bothering her. Just bothering her. He's going to take her bag, sift through it. Find her bra, bring it out. A stranger's bag? Yes. Okay. He pulls out her bra, swings it in her face, is like, what's this? Just keeps bothering her till she's like, okay, cool. You're just gonna keep bothering me, so let's hang out. And then they fall in love. <laughs> you know what another trope is that always gets to me? It's towards the end of any rom-com. Right. Or even in the middle sometimes when the people are meeting up and finally realizing they're into each other, rain starts happening. And in English movies and in recent past, last 15, 20 years, Hindi movies also, rain is like what Doordarshan movies ka flowers meeting used to be. Rain mm. is an indicator, sex is coming. It's, De- it's not just now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Old Indian movies found ways to show that people are having sex and rain was one of them. It's yeah. not a recent recent thing. Yeah. It's been there, but umbrellas meeting, flowers meeting. Yep. Yeah. Also airport scene at the end of the end <sighs> of the movie. Airport. Yes. And they're always running and security people are running and then they meet and then they're like <laughs> and then they just kiss. <laughs> You can't do this outside the airport <laughs> yeah. when it's safe. The, the next scene is always their kissing, where in reality, the true next scene is they're both in jail. Yeah. Especially the guy who ran through the airport, jumped over all the who broke security. Bro, someone's going to break your arms. Do not try this someone's at gonna, the airport. Half the time, they have a satchel with them or like a bag. There was one movie where I remember, this was a Hindi movie, the one with the Kabi Kabi Aditi song. I was literally thinking of the same movie. He showed up to the airport on a horse! A horse? But that's because he has like the three. <laughs> I had a whole conversation in my head and I'm like, get it? Uh, no, but that's because he had the three rules, no? Yeah. In the movie. And what one of the them three? was he has to ride a horse, then only he'll be a Rathor. Yes. See, I'm making Hindi movie references. Are you proud? I'm, I'm actually yeah. damn proud of it. I don't know DDLJ, but I don't but I don't kabhi kabhi ati. I did not remember this. Yeah. But now it's striking a bit. I but watched that movie unhealthy amount of times. I knew the dialogues when I didn't even know Hindi. That was another female character that was a little bit like... Oh my god, she how was much so footage do you annoying. Want? <laughs> I love She you. was just... I mean, <laughs> the, the movie is great. But hmm. she was like, just tell him how you feel. You're just expecting him to like put everything aside. He has a whole ass girlfriend and she's just crying half of the movie because she can clearly see what's going on. Most of these movies would end in 15 minutes if they just told people when they realized Communicated. They <laughs> it's like all of their friends knew, his own mother knew, his girlfriend knew and these two are waiting to get to the airport with a horse. to tell each other with a horse. And a bag. Them. Just talk. To be fair, if I remember correctly, policemen did take him down in the airport. But then they were like, fine, go talk. For it's love. Fine. We will we allow understand. it. And uh, if you've <laughs> ever had experiences with the police in India, you know that they're not that comfortable with I that. don't even make eye contact with airport securities. Yeah. I'm like, if they see you holding hands, there are certain public places if you're holding hands, between the hands, there is one hand here, one hand here, in the middle there will be a danda. <laughs> it's not that bad. And these guys are like, go, go. Profess your love, yeah. baby. At the Let's airport. Go. Just in one jar. This rain thing <laughs> happened in this English movie called uh, Crazy Stupid Love, which is 
टू बी फेयर वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट रॉम कॉम्स ऑफ ऑल टाइम इट वॉज जेनुअनली फनी एंड दर इज अ मोमेंट इन दैट वेयर इट्स रायन गोस्लिंग हु इज इंसिडेंटली गोन बी प्लेइंग कैन कैनॉट वेट cannot be uh, it but he's he's basically not... this <laughs> what i said cannot be it how did i'm just i just frustrating you at this point huh? yeah but good pun i appreciate thanks so he's this rich unemployed guy who's just inherited a lot of money and he's a playboy and he finds Emma Stone who is also incredibly beautiful I watch crazy stupid love yeah <laughs> he gets her home yeah. it's supposed to be a hook up of course rain is happening there is a moment where she's like take off your t-shirt he takes off his t-shirt and he she's is like hot oh. not that she's like it's like you're photoshopped and it is like he's photoshopped that moment for me became this like iconic iconic moment that i have always wanted to recreate so you want to take your t-shirt off yeah. you want to do my it now my entire i can't because i haven't been to the gym in a while role play but my Dragons. entire motivation for gymming my entire life ever since i saw that movie has been i need to get to a point where i take off my t-shirt and someone's like you look like you're photoshopped and at even my fittest no one has said it to me take off your Why? Please, can we take off your shirt? Because really? I can't stop thinking. And I need you just. Okay, 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 okay. All right, okay. Okay, okay. Seriously, it's like you're photoshopped. Because I am. Can I? Yeah, I think this is a good place for us to yeah. stop. Let's stop, bro. Bye. Bye. See you. Take care. Tell your loved Just ones you love it. them. End it. This end it. End it. End it. Apparently, all the swearing all was swearing. just. Yes, because I was conscious about it. There's no censoring needed. Uh, on I was yourself. conscious about it. I'm just myself. You see, I don't get. <laughs> I'm also myself, but like, I'm myself talking to people where I know I don't shouldn't be swearing as much. Yeah, it's like I will think I'm with my parents or something. This uh, there's this great <laughs> philosopher. His name is Will Smith. He once said that his grandma told him. Pucho. <laughs> What's that? What's that thing that he said? Pucho. Keep your. Keep my wife's name. name. Out your mouth! You said I caught him. Yeah. <laughs> Should I stand on a ladder and push it down? <laughs>